Yo guys, what's up? I'm Ryan and this is Halloween's coming up! Woo! I'm a knight! I'm a snail! I'm a cow. Yo guys, so I'm super excited about this. Halloween's coming up and everyone's gonna be dressing up, getting candy. What is it, just me who only does it? Halloween's always a fun time of year where we go to like harvest festivals and stuff. I'm super excited. Haunted houses! Wagon rides. You get to scare the sh out of people. I mean the shoop, the crap, the ding dong. You get to scare people and not get arrested. For yeah! And you just get away with everything, you know? You can egg a house and they'll be like, oh, it's Halloween. Who cares? Oh, that was your trick or treat. You didn't treat us, so we tricked you and threw eggs at your window and killed your cat. Sorry. We put it in a blender and just, just kidding, that's too far. JK, I mean, just kidding, guys. Uh, moving on. Man, how great is Halloween? What I like the most of Halloween, you can't get old enough to get candy and eat it. Oh, the candy. Candy. Oh, yes. I'm super excited for that. But you know what I'm not excited for? Those parents who just throw all your candy away because it's like, not good for you. They either store it away or they just take it away for the rest of the year. No. Uh, I hate when parents discipline you like that, you know? Funny story my pastor told me this past week. Uh, he was getting uh, very disciplined by his mom, like, because his mom wasn't very strong enough to, like, you know, discipline them. And she, so she bought a yardstick and it really, really hurt. But then the kids just got advanced and started like blocking them and figured out a coordination that like if they hit the yardstick hard enough, it would break and she would have to get a new yardstick. So once she broke a bunch of yardsticks, she went to the dollar store and went to go buy more yardsticks. She went to the house, duct taped all the yardsticks, literally had a freaking samurai sword made of yardsticks. And these kids were just plain out scared of her disciplinaries. Let's talk about what happened to me this week. So this kid was in class and he got caught from the teacher looking down on his phone. But she went up to him first of all and asked, Can you give me your phone? Can you give me your phone? The kid was like, YOLO! And the teacher went up and confiscated the phone. Ugh. Stupidity strikes again. Try telling your teacher that next time. Can I please have your phone? YOLO! No. No, YOLO. Come get it yourself. She literally went up to him and grabbed the phone and he was just like, You only live once! Shut up, stupid! No, you idiot! Oh, just give her the phone! I know, I hate, I hate being caught in class texting. Like, there's no other time in the world when you could text. But really, you have to say, you had to say YOLO. You had to. I could've just said, fish, forget it. Stuff happens. And I would've gave her my phone. Next time I recommend just Shut up. Don't say anything stupid. That was in my class today. <gasps> I hate when people say YOLO for no reason. Uh, he literally said YOLO BIA- uh, Why? Why do people say YOLO? Is YOLO like some sort of conspiracy made by the government to just kill off the stupid people? Just to make us smart people feel good about ourselves? If it is, good job government. You're doing your job. The pre-election coming up, not so good. It's like you go up to an officer and the officer says, Sir, you've been drinking tonight and I caught you high speeding and is running away from us in a high speed chase. Uh, we're gonna have to put you in jail. And then he says, YOLO, officer! I didn't mean it! It was not my mistake, it was YOLO! It was all life! Pow! The officer says, oh fine, if it's YOLO then it's okay. No, it does not work like that. If you run into your situation and you say YOLO, you are You are in deep doo doo. Why would you say YOLO? I think Yellow is just something stupid come up with. Anyways, moving on. All right, guys, the status coming up is from Raya. She says this. Confession number two. I suck at remembering names, so when I'm talking to someone, someone's name, I should know I wait for someone else to say their name and act like I know it all along. Smiley face, P. Right? I'm bad with names too, you know, girl, just don't feel left out. Everyone has bad memory. And everyone, one time, actually had to, you know, screw up a name. I do it all the time. I don't really care. I go up to someone and I'm like, hey, what's up, uh, dude? And then they're like, my name's Bob. And I'm like, um, yeah, I knew that. That's why I called you dude, because I know you so much. No, you no, you don't know me at all. Actually, I don't know you. Who the heck are you? Um, 
Surprise, mother... Yeah, everyone struggles with that. One time I knew this guy who just... I had no idea who, who he was. I had no idea who he was. He walked past me by the hall, and I, I looked at him. I was like, hey, okay, he's looking at me weird. And he did this. What's up, Brian? I was like... Do I know you? He just walked by and smiled. I was like, yeah, man, peace. I literally threw the peace sign. Hello. Oh. Alright guys, I think that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please check in next week to see my next video. I think it's going to be uploading Fridays now. Um, I don't like Thursdays or Saturdays because those days were just intimacy to me. Uncomprehendable and unresponsible for me. So yeah, please check in next week. Check this out. Hey guys, if you like this video, go to Cinemansion at YouTube.com and subscribe to my channel. Check out the many playlists like Ryan's blog, Casa's blog, and Cinemansion's blog. And uh, I hope you guys just like the, my video. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Hunger! I'm just a snail. Surprise, mother!